Hey you all, it's your girl Becca, back in here for the first time in like two years with another video, but what we're not going to do is we're not going to judge because I'm here now, okay? So, you just see my face. Welcome back. I hope you guys have been doing awesome. Surprisingly, <laughs> I still have all of my followers, and well not followers, I don't like calling people followers. I still have all of my subscribers and supporters. Plus some. So, thank you guys so much for that because if you've been following me on this channel for a while, sporadic is the name of the game, okay? But we back, so that's all that matters. Like I said before, if you're new here, I am Mecca. Welcome to my channel. This is just going to be a short little video of me talking about where I've been, what I've been doing, and what you can look forward to on this channel. So, if that is what you're interested in seeing right now as of this moment, <laughs> make sure you stick around because I have a lot of information coming in this video, okay? So, I'm not going to make this video too long, or I'm not trying. going to try to. I'm going to try to stay under 10 minutes. So, with that being said, I may be talking kind of fast. If so, I apologize. <laughs> but, it's a lot that I want to cram into this one video. So, a little bit of history about who I am as it pertains to YouTube. I started my YouTube channel back in 2009 and I started my YouTube channel back when it was so easy to get monetized and for me again this is my opinion for me it was more of a community on YouTube versus competition and that's what I loved about YouTube everybody was literally on YouTube sharing information doing things that they love and I loved that about YouTube so I decided in 2009 that I wanted to make my own channel so I made my own channel and back Back then, back in the gap, I wanted to major in journalism actually. So I was using YouTube as a way to get comfortable in front of the camera, to get comfortable, you know, talking to people who aren't like in front of me, in front of me. And I just fell in love with the process. I was monetized at one time, but then YouTube changed all of their rules and regulations and stuff like that. So that changed. But um, what else do I want you guys to know about that time period? But yeah, so I built up my subscribers. I made, you know, different type of relationships with different type of YouTubers, some of which I still saw to this day. But YouTube has always been a platform that I loved. I don't always agree with the politics of YouTube, but as a whole, I do love YouTube as a way to learn more, not even just more, but learn different things. Um... And just really kind of, you know, build bonds and friendships and things of that nature, okay? Um, back then, the thing, honestly, and a lot of people always ask me, like, what made you stop doing YouTube? I'm not even going to lie. When I first started doing it, it wasn't one of those cool, popular things. It was one of those things where, like, if you told somebody you were doing YouTube, they were like, you do YouTube. You sit in front of a camera and talk to people that you don't know. Like, it was just, like, this stigma, like... I don't know, it wasn't a cool kid thing to do, which I didn't, I'm not going to say I didn't care, because me caring is part of what made me stop doing videos, but back then, I had so many people telling me that, you know, this isn't going to make you any money, you're not going to be able to benefit from this, you need to go and get a real job, and this, that, and the third, and I cannot tell you the amount of times... <laughs> since then that I have kicked myself because I'm like yo if I would have just kept up with my channel and if I would have been you know on the ball with it and be consistent with it yeah I could be raking in the YouTube dollars right now but at the same time that's not as important to me but it is kind of important somewhat <laughs> but I am back with a different mindset I don't feel like I need the validation from other people the way that I needed it back then I was young. look when I started my YouTube channel I was 19 years old okay fresh out of high school and back then I can't miss myself that I really needed a lot, a lot of validation so the fact that it is crazy because I where I had where I felt like I had so many people like against it there was just as many people not I don't even want to say against it but they didn't understand it I had 10 times more people like yes do that that's so cool that's so dope I could never do nothing like that so I don't know why I let myself talk myself out of continuing to do YouTube like I don't who child them younger years fast forward I am 30 now so it's been a little <clears throat> I can't believe I just vocalized that but it's been a little minute since I've been on YouTube is what I'm trying to say and I love YouTube for the fact 
of I could go on my channel because I did hide most of my videos. I didn't delete any videos. I just kind of hid them. But I love the fact that I can go and I can look back and see different points of my life where I was doing YouTube. And I just think that's interesting because that's why I started my YouTube channel to begin with. So I've gone through a lot of changes since then. And one of the changes has been the focus of my channel. And I felt like I've come to the conclusion that I have been overthinking it. And I've always wanted to include different aspects of myself into my channel. But I didn't really know how to do that in a way that wasn't just like all over the place. So what we gonna do is we gonna call this a lifestyle channel. Because this is my life. <laughs> and this is how I live it. And you can get bits and pieces of me sprinkled all throughout this channel okay so moving on to what we will be talking about or the content that i will be creating so shall we say i will be doing spiritual videos i don't know why my mouth is not working right now but <laughs> we'll be doing spiritual videos for those of you who don't know i am a tarot reader i am a root worker so i will be the spiritual videos that I do do will be mainly be focusing around that. For those of you who are going to ask, no, I do not do tarot readings on YouTube. I do tarot readings on my other social media platforms, but I feel like there's so many dope-ass tarot readers here on YouTube already. I'm going to leave that to y'all. Now, if you need a suggestion, you can always go to Fearless Intuition B. That's my girl. Um, Amber from The Quietest Revolution. Uh, who else? What is it? Nick Ashbaugh is a dope reader. There's different look. There's a thousand readers on YouTube. I just that's not my lane on YouTube. Um, but I will be sharing tarot related content, spiritual related content, content based around hoodoo. What else are we going to be doing? We are going to be talking about my weight loss journey that I am smack dab in the middle of, and. We're going to be talking about that as it relates to me having PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I was diagnosed back in 2016. And surprisingly enough, when I was diagnosed, I realized that there's not a lot of black women because it is a hormonal disorder that women deal with. And I realized that not many black women knew about <laughs> PCOS, which I found disgustingly alarming so i do want to do my due diligence as somebody that does have pcos to put out information about it i'm also diabetic i was diagnosed with diabetes in 2018 or 17 one of the two and i'm going to be talking more about that in another video what else uh my hair journey my lock journey you guys i have so many people asking me about my locks and what i do and y'all will be surprised to know that i do nothing to my hair but <laughs> but i will be talking about my lock journey i'll be talking about self-publishing that is something that i am like I love self-publishing. I love talking about it. I am a self-published author, for those of you who don't know. If you go back on my channel, you can look and see me talking about my first hood fiction slash magic realism novel, Foolish, which is available on Amazon. I am working on book two. But I'm going to put all this information in the underneath the bar, in the description bar, so you guys can have it. And <clears throat> so I'm working on book two, so I do want to talk about that, especially as it pertains to urban fiction, hood fiction, street lit, whatever you want to call it. I feel like urban fiction is one of those genres that's not really talked about on YouTube because I'm a part of all the, the two communities, okay? So I'm a part of book two, too, avid book two watcher. And one thing that I realized is a lot of people... There's not a lot of booktubers who cover urban fiction novels. And so we're going to change that stigma over on this channel. Because I know I'm not the only person that be looking for urban fiction book reviews. Like, I just, I know I'm not. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody here. And I'm actually batch I cannot talk right now, Lord Jesus. I am actually batch recording all of my videos right now. So, this next video I'm about to do is about to be a spiritual video. So, if you are ready for that, make sure you stay tuned. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, welcome back, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being patient. Oh, by the way, the lip gloss that I'm holding, this is not a sponsored video, just so you know. But, it's a buy another YouTuber. Brie, um, it's the B, why am I holding it up here? It's the Be A More Collection 
bruh. This is the mint flavor. I have mint and I think I, her other one is berry. <sighs> These are the most moisturizing lip glosses I have ever used in my life. They're not sticky. They're not heavy. They don't transfer easily. I love them. So, y'all know I'm all about supporting black businesses. So, I'm going to leave her link to her lip glosses. Um, that's another thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a couple of product reviews and stuff like that. Um, in terms of just reviews and in terms of, like, regular stuff. And as it pertains to, like spiritual reviews and stuff like that of products so stay tuned i have a lot of content for you guys thank you so much for rocking with me thank you for being here with me if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you'll know when i'm uploading more content hit the notification bell so you can be notified and i will talk to you guys later be great get red stay all the way live and with everything be intentional peace